My enemies are many. My equals are none. Welcome back to part eight to my France Let's Play for Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod. We continue where we left things off last time, and you guys said you want me to rush in with the daring and brave Murat with his, I would say his, his cavalry army, but it's not really that much of a cavalry army. We do have the lancers there, and we do have four units of French foot dragoons, but I feel like we definitely need to get more cavalry in here, like another four units, so we've got eight total. We do have the horse artillery in there as well. I've got the column de attack. But you guys want me to press the attack on the Prussians, take out Von Blücher, and hopefully we will have enough movement to then get back to the bridge. If they retreat from this position, I'm probably not going to be able to chase them because I imagine they're going to fall back to Hanover. And there, there I'm going to get surrounded either by the Prussians or I'm a bit wary of Oldenburg going, oh, a fine opportunity to strike in. So let's not give them that option. In we go. I'm going to march slowly in. Are you going to stay put or are you going to run? Going to stay put. Nice. Okay, right. You've got plenty of artillery. Two six-pounder uh, horse artillery. I've got four of them. So I should be able to snipe them out. I've got six-pounder, uh, yeah, two-foot one. So they won't be able to move as rapidly. The Slitzen Schutzen are incredibly accurate very dangerous they need to get charged down with cavalry they've got two hussars we need to try and pin them and get solid charge with the lancers to break them the rest of them are infantry they're well drilled well trained pretty darn accurate um so we're gonna have to make sure we uh, bombard and blast them and then maybe look to try and get some flanking charges with the columns in we go It won't be a cavalry army once the army once the battle's done. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay. Bit of a dark and dreary day on the battlefield. Not unlike this morning here, actually. An old blighty. It was very foggy this morning, and I really dislike that we've got like this gentle slope to face us. It's not ideal. Not ideal. Um, we can pull back because then actually it goes up the other way. So we're right in the in the ditch, in the dip between. Uh, okay, let's get you guys over like so. A French foot dragoons. I want the, the columns. Probably advancing up through the middle, maybe. We want them. We want them chunky. Thinking is yeah. Have the infantry. Then have to keep these guys behind to then rush on through and shatter the enemy lines as they get closer. Because these guys have a rather fine melee attack and charge bonus themselves. Great for shattering through enemy lines. Two lances on each flank. And I just need to sort out this artillery, which I'm going to go for two in the center and one to the left and right. We'll have one unit between you guys. I don't actually know if I'll be able to keep all the of these guys spread out in column as much as I've done them, to be honest. Is that okay for the terrain? Just about. 
trying to kind of rem remember where we want to place these guys for uh When the enemy comes to us, okay, you guys that. Go yeah, pull that one back. Need something in the middle here. There we go. It's gonna be. It might be. I might have to have you guys in here actually. Yeah, I think I will do because I'm, I'm short of units this flank. So maybe you won't charge for. Maybe you'll just stay and hold the line. But you're not the best shots at Christian Reload. Maybe when they get to maximum veterancy, they will be, though. thing I do love about like Empire Pony. Okay, it probably still doesn't matter as much as I'm spending the time on it, but I, I I do like that I, you know, it's worthwhile spending some time sorting out your deployment and getting things optimal. I like that you've got that layer Artillery to it. Can be a great incentive for a defending enemy on hilly terrain, not to just sit there and wait for you. You can bombard them until they move to a more suitable place to die. A more suitable place to die. That is exactly my plan. draw them to us basically the cavalry in the trees thanks our secure there we go they are going to come to us but they are all in range of our cannons start with we need to try and blast them out start setting up some targets with the cannon shortly To us. Looks like they're pretty keen on advancing forward. I think I think they've just found their gun line though. Oh, that was a cannon gone. They've lost one piece of artillery already. We've got a volley off at last. Are my cavalry all hidden? They are. So when inevitably the Prussian cavalry charges to us, we need to decide are we going to send our own cavalry to stop them? Or are we going to switch our cannons to shred them? I think we'll go for let my cannons and infantry shred the enemy cav because then that frees my cavalry to dominate them unchallenged. Sending a very gung ho Von Blucher. Across the plains, trying to get a shot of him. Keeps turning away. Oh, that's a shot. Nice thing about the foot dragoons, they all fire on mass volley. And kind of with loose spacing. Oh, here we go. Here's the canister. They've gone. You guys. Ah, I've just seen. I was thinking, like, what's the weak point of these guys? It's the fact that they cannot form square. That is a bit dangerous. That's a wee bit 
spicy. I feel like cavalry. Time to begin the grand flank. And set all the cannons to canister and fire at will. I don't even know if we'll need the uh, Klond attack reserves that we've set up. Right, cavalry. <laughs> I can see the hussars. And their general pulling back now. General charging through the smoke. Ah! Is their artillery gone? Chase those guys down if you can. around behind the Prussians and then finish them. Maybe a bit of friendly fire through there if I'm not careful. Here comes the column. Immediately split their forces between huge damage happy days what have we done over here pretty well with the supported fire charge him charge the general sweep on in I think, Artillery, your job here is done, so get you guys all back on up. You guys weren't needed, but you can have a nice little march across that. Boom, in with the Lancers. A glorious victory, sir. Yeah, stop going through that, because otherwise you're going to charge into them all. to be careful with my cab charges in this keep forgetting this is the total war where if you've given a charge order and they run through your own troops they will do friendly damage they didn't form square did they no they've just held they should break considering the rest of their army has gone Actually, yeah, out of all my campaigns, has there ever been a campaign that you guys have uh, been rooting for the AI to win? I feel like there must have been plenty of people rooting for the AI to win in my Adresian Kingdom campaign before we managed to slowly but surely claw things back because that seemed... I still can't get over that. Just the, the brink of the brink of defeat, the, the full-on brink of disaster and then just managing to claw it back. That order I gave against these guys, I saw that they were in square when we hovered over. That's fine. 
but they are prepared to face us. The 30th Regiment of Foot, Black Brunswick is Line Infantry. So we'll bring the column to face them, unless they're breaking. Oh no, they're out of square. How foolish of you. Oh no, they've, they've withdrawn, I think. Yeah, they are withdrawing. I like that the AI at times does do that. It's like, yeah, we've lost we've lost troops. There's no point in these guys trying to hold off the whole army that we can't win. Pull them back, save them for a, another fight another day. Job done. Ah, good job, General Muir. You've done us proud. Done us proud. Top work. The foot dragoons did you proud as well, actually. All right, they're pulled back. We just knocked out two of their famed generals. And yes, we have enough movement to pull back. That's all we want to do. Just snipe them out. Pull back to the bridge. Still replenishing because we're well within our own territory. But yeah, I, I do think we need to give Muir some more cavalry. A mix. Um, Chasse Cheval, I don't want to have to kind of macromanage. Mic macromanage? Micromanage their, uh, their firing. So I'll probably go for some Hussars. But, ah, I can only have five of them. Upgrade it. Can we get more or different? I can get some Dragoons. That would be nice. Have I got the mass mobilization? No, I'm still researching it. Oh, and somebody was asking, can I upgrade my universities? I can. I thought I, had to, I needed to do some tech for that. But no, let's get them going because that increases... Our point spend, yeah, for our research rate. So let's get that going. Where have we got our other ones? That's under repair. That's going in there. They can upgrade and research at the same time, right? I think, I think we're all good there. Yeah, we want to keep getting infrastructure stuff going. Upgrade all of these. Um, Theatre, Brussels. I should probably have a tax office there. Right, yeah, we're just waiting for the first rates. Upgrading that. I could look to upgrade that to a commercial port because hopefully soon the waves will no longer be threatened. We'll get both of those because the British should be dealt with. Um, we've already got the merchantmen queued up over here. Nice. Give them a few more turns. Lovely. Uh, no, don't upgrade that barracks. Not for now anyway. Uh, you can have the Great Arsenal, which will give me the 12-pounder artillery. Oh, triumph. Um, more movement range. I mean, that is worth probably saving up for and getting that in as quickly as possible. We can upgrade this whole line, can't we, for the theatre. If I'm mistaken, to the yeah, Musée Napoleon. So... Yeah, we can't do anything else. We can get that. Probably, I mean, the Opera House... More wealth. I feel like getting the Arc Triumph in there would be pretty good. Plus 5% campaign map movement range. Yeah, that'd be lovely. How is our prestige? Quite, I actually, I quite like the prestige system in this. I wouldn't mind there being... Because you could have a prestige victory in this. Almost kind of like civilization style of just multiple victory points. Which I guess we've kind of seen... I mean, you've got, there's so many different ways you can kind of gain victory points in, say, Pharaoh. But I wouldn't mind there actually being not just different ways of gaining victory points, but just different victory objectives, like economic victory objectives, military ones. You obviously, you've got that with domination and what have you. Then kind of, I guess, you know, a, a fairly broad mixed one, which is what the typical victory objective tends to be. But I wouldn't mind like stuff like prestige and then you've got to build certain things and focus on. I mean, probably prestige victory is more like economic victory, to be fair. Because you probably need to build certain buildings and, and bits and pieces. But I, I wouldn't mind that returning. Give you kind of more ways to play. And potentially, you know, ways to play tall in a Total War game. Or not just... Obviously, it's called Total War. But I wouldn't mind having other ways that you could kind of engage with your campaigns. To try out new things, different things. Um, so we've got the... One or two of you were saying you thought I was actually... I got my maths wrong and I was earning more when I just had uh, on the... I, when I had my ships on the ivory and the spices, I think. Probably. Um, but pretty much at this point, we can just keep dropping our ships into each one. I don't think we need to pop any more. I, I, I seem to have this idea that it was around about... You wanted to get resources to about 10k if you could. Um, around about 16 or 17 ships. And that was 
kind of fairly well balanced. I mean, there's that one that's 740. Let's see what we do here. 900, that's still good. Sugar's looking pretty decent. Um, how spices? Spices were at 38. So, yeah, that's a good option as well. Pop them in there. 1,406 to 1,944. Lovely. But yeah, I'm not going to try and like min max the uh, the trade just yet. I'm just going to try and have a balanced spread across all. Like, if there's cotton somewhere, that would yield some good uh, good income. Total import in, uh, total income from exports trade partners 22,976. A very healthy income. In fact, that'd be enough to start building the Arc Triomphe straight away. Next time, we've already got couple of merchantmen here. There's another one. We're going to just go with all of them. Yeah, just wait one more turn. Send them all. Um, right, you guys. Yeah, you're all good here. I could put a general in to lead you. Might do that. We've got uh, Davo holding here. But we'll leave him anchored. We've got um, a Senna here. He's got his plenty of cav. He needs artillery. Which we've got that one there, but we were going to get the artillery from here, weren't we? The horse artillery. We're going to get one right now. We'll do it next time. We'll save our money if we've got enough after the Arc de Triomphe. Um, we need to move you guys around. Ready for the invasion of Britain. Which should hopefully begin. Today. I mean, actually, yeah, probably need another turn next. I want them to go in one one solid group together, well protected. Although we might be able to move them enough next time. Uh, we've got my spy network in London, so I can see everything that they've got. That's that's good. Eat. Uh, artillery. What have we got here? An eight pounder and a six pounder. And uh, we've got yeah, Bernadotte, which we are, we're not going to send you to Sweden, mate, because I, I hear you might have ambitions. Uh, you can have some chasseurs, a cheval, actually. Spend them, get them in there. I think that's all we need to do. So, end the turn. Agent detected. Uh, Bavaria. Yeah, you're allied, so I'm not going to get angry with you. My spy friends in high places. Nice. Yeah, you've given me, you know, you'll give me a uh, spy network there in a hot minute. I could see the Russians marching that way. They may cut in, but we'll see. Love that we've got the spy network up in Berlin, though. That's looking good. Russians, are you going to send more forces to us? Probably. I recognize these portraits from when we did our Prussia campaign. You, know how you stay there. Just hold them off. If they attack you at the bridge, you should be able to take out two or three armies comfortably before you're in trouble. Uh, we were going to build the Arc de Triomphe, which means I won't be able to get those cannons this turn. But still, let's get it in. Right. Arc de Triomphe. Boom. 12 turns. Get that lad in there lad get that arc in there get that get that get that material in there i might have enough to be able to move there and back with a single single bit um i can't give you a new admiral though risk it for a biscuit we'll send the corvette out just to scan and we'll see actually if the corvette can come back yeah we can we can do it napoleon and you go let the invasion begin. 
I saw someone comment on the one of the last videos as well saying that uh, had Napoleon been able to successfully invade or like cross the channel and invade uh, Britain, like what were what were people's speculations on? Um, would it have been a success? Would they have been able to to win? And the general consensus is like overwhelmingly, yeah, Britain would have fallen because they didn't have anywhere near the numbers of a of a kind of a standing army as the the French had amassed with their forces. And okay, they probably would have been able to draft up additional troops, nowhere near as many as quickly as they would need. So very likely Britain would have fallen and we'd, you know, be uh, very, uh, very happy under the, the God Emperor Napoleon and Bonaparte, I'm sure. Go land right by Dublin. There we go. Ah, yeah, right. Those ships now can't move. That's fine. I wonder, can you get into port and then get over to Dublin as well? Yes. But yeah, I mean the the main the main threat is that uh, at least within in the Napoleonic times was the British Navy. But had the navy not existed or fallen, been defeated somehow, the kind of debate and discussion is that yeah, Britain would have fallen. I wouldn't have minded being French. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. Why not? It means we'd have a, some very nice pastries. Right. I uh, don't really have any more money to spend, but we can make some more money by sending our merchantmen to some fabulous trade nodes. Aha. Uh -huh, they're there still, aren't they? I mean, they could try and attack us, but I think we'd be okay. i send you guys in for some more spices. Although sugar's now the one we probably should be throwing our lot in with. Um, that's ivory. I really want to get that up to 10k income, so let's just sail on over there. Yeah, boom. Do, 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 do. We'll get the artillery from here uh, next time. So I'm I mean, I don't think Austria's going to attack, so I could send the artillery down now, but I don't want to leave these guys completely unprepared. I also want to pop that general in. Otherwise, we've had a fair bit of spend on our economic bits and pieces. We've got the universities upgrading. In terms of technology, how are we looking? Is that... Oh, right. It took, takes two turns to, to repair. Yeah. I was like, why is that still going? Okie dokie. All right. End the turn. See if our two armies will be enough. I had originally wanted to send three to Britain, but I think two should be enough just because of the strength of our forces. Ah, uh, here we go. It's like it's like Austria can hear. Ah, uh, my plans. I've just sent the emperor off to Britain. Well, we'll have to hold the line then until he can return. I swear this AI can hear you. Or at least, I mean, at least it knows how to counter player moves or to throw the player into the biggest amount of poop possible. Because it's it's pretty good at throwing a curveball your way or a war at you when you're least expecting it. This could destabilize my whole center while my strongest forces are away. But it doesn't mean I'll, we haven't left this eastern front um, weak. We've built up specifically some strong forces. We just haven't got that extra artillery in place yet. Let's see who joins who. Uh, Bavaria refused. I managed to peace out with the Ottomans, though. They weren't allied with the Ottomans, were they? No. You just need to know what Bavaria is planning. We have to. We just hold the line against Austria. Vienna's got a solid army in. Just needs a general. Um, Davo is holding the bridge to the north. That should be fine. Um, Murat holds the crossing, stopping the Prussians gathering any steam and advancement towards us. So yeah, we just need to hold the line with those armies, let Napoleon conquer Britain with Ney, and then the hammer of the emperor, his imperial fist will descend upon our enemies. 
in Central and Eastern Europe. In Russia with their little expedition. Bless them. They're trying. Hello, Denmark. What you doing? Actually, Britain would have taken their turn already, but they've not responded to my invasion of Dublin yet. Very silly. I'm way too, I fully expect Spain to kick off against us at some point. I've got to remember as well, Britain will, if we don't take Gibraltar, they'll still be alive then. So we want to probably take Gibraltar actually before we finish them off in London, if we can. You guys are fine. I spy. Nice. Uh, I'm going to give you a general. I can't. No, I can't recruit anymore. That's it. That's why we didn't include one before. We need to upgrade. Not to that level. I think is it the maximum level or the one above it? Oh, that is the next one. Military academy. Yeah, military academies increase it. So we just have to keep going through that. So you won't have a general. That's fine. You're the garrison force there. What we will do though is start getting the six pounder horse artillery ready for uh, Masena, and we'll keep you there at Venice for now. Metalled roads, probably something we just start going into. I mean, I can push in here and attack and break that army. Probably would be worthwhile doing. I mean, for now, because I'm not actually wanting to push, I might, I don't know if, yeah, I, I doubt we'd be able to like liberate or anything over here. I don't think any of that would do it. But I'd be tempted to create uh, a few vassals just to slow the enemy down. Did Bavaria? No, they didn't join the war. They just broke off from us completely. They are still friendly. But can't do it because they're allied with one of my enemies. Who is Saxony? Yes. Okay, I actually feel you're still friendly with me, though. Yeah, I'm wary about Spain. I imagine that will be a, a threat at some point. It means I now can't... Uh, can I march through their territory still? Do I still have that? Yes, I can. But that's not a problem. Good, good, good. Uh, don't want a gunsmith yet. Yeah, probably should just do metalled roads. Uh, well, actually, maybe we should look for a few more of these around. How much more region wealth is that? Okay, it's doubling it. And enables further research. I'll say upgrade that because from here we will actually uh, get that army ready for Gibraltar. Start getting a force ready. Just do magistrates. We'll do some road investment soon. all that going good happy with that uh more merchantmen i don't know if i can get any nope that's fine we've got these guys along here what have we got coffee and more coffee how is coffee selling these days not for much at all that's spices if i piled you guys all on spices mm. i mean let's pile you all on spices for this turn then we might move some of you over we've got six ships coming in we're currently earning 2414 4,498. Nice. Good little boost. Yeah, let's get onto the sugar. We've got more ivory coming in from there. Do, do, do. Yeah, so Britain, I don't think they've worked out what to do in terms of naval engagement. I would like to try and get Nelson's ships captured. I'd almost be tempted to say I've got enough troops to challenge his, his troops, enough ships to challenge his force, but actually probably not. 
We need more heavies or more like 70, 74 gun ships. 80 gun. Yeah, I think we we'll go for a couple of 80 gun ones next. So actually, no, it's still low, isn't it? It's not better maneuverability. Yeah, go for some 80 gun ship of the lines to challenge his third rates and fourth rates. And then we've got the big 122 guns. Do other bits and pieces. I mean, I'd attack this fleet now and break them if it wasn't going to bring him in. I mean, I guess we could we could block them, couldn't we? But I think it'll automatically trigger if I move within range. That's the only the only issue there. I hope we get a nice big naval battle because Britain are normally the only ones to really challenge you. All right, in we go to Dublin. Um, we could ask for their surrender. Go for it. I imagine they will. Yep, yeah, we could liberate. Ireland. Uh, but we are going to go for full conquest. Um, so, peace will occupy. Can we get... Can we get any unique troops from here? I don't think you could get, like, Irish Legion directly. Alas, no. Supply post or a market be a market. Right into a trading port. But Napoleon can now march straight for Edinburgh. So that's what we shall do. There we go. And we'll have had some swift conquest before the British know what to do. For any unit militia. Um, what we will do is leave behind one fuse laser of the line. It's not going to be enough. Okay, we need to leave a few more. There we go. Send this army to catch up. They can move up next turn. Uh, for now, my fleet, I guess we will go and hit the British trade. See if we can draw them out to us. Take Scotland and then we march on London where we will have... Some solid battles against the Redcoats. Or Fusiliers. I imagine they're going to start moving these armies. You'd, you'd like to think, right? <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to be in quite the spot of bother. Right. Well. That's all we can do for now. Oh, no. We have these guys over here, don't we? Attack. Standing and fighting. All right. In we go. I did see a comment as well about the Reunion Battalion, which we've got over in Dublin right now. And also the Portuguese Legion. Apparently they are bugged and they don't always fire. So I need to check on how they fire. Just make sure. Yeah, I know one, two of you were pointing out that they don't always uh, deploy properly. Kind of. That's a really nice like high ground to have like a rear battery at. The rest of the ground is fairly hilly. And I could be tempted to actually then form up a defensive line around that house. Ah, we can't actually deploy there though to start with. You have to form up here and pull back. Go on then. Let's go. Let's give it a go. I quite like that idea. Foot guards. What I'll do with you guys is have you guys around the center here to form up in the house and around it, I think. That'd be nice. Let's get the rest of the army together. Group up my cavalry. Cavalry hidden in the trees. There's my French Irish Legion. The steady paddies. I'm going to try my best to get more names in for next episode as well. So we've got multiple armies now and I want them all with names. So yeah, where do I want the other artillery? I could have the... Um, actually, I could have one, one by this house. And then the other one. Here. Nice and open. I like it. See, I'll pull that one back there. 
to figure out where I'm sending troops. So if we have these four committed to that side, we've got the Mariners holding the center. So we'll have the Irish on the right and the Portuguese in the center. And we've also got my cavalry. Yeah, these guys on the left into the trees. I've got the others over there. Good. They're going to try and blast us with cannon fire. Send the cavalry out wide. Irish fall back and hold the ground there. All the Portuguese back there. Pop you guys in the house. Okay, no, this artillery piece will march to here. Hmm. Good. Right, we're getting in the house. We have taken the building, sir. Get the artillery up. Bad for that. So, are they going to damage the house? Possibly. Certainly going to draw their shot in. But I think I have, a, I have a cunning plan. I mean, it's not exactly a cunning plan. It's just a plan, really. But fairly straightforward plan. Send in the cavalry. And knock out their artillery. That's the plan. In we go. Too much of an angle to really draw them in, but still, we'll see. Uh, get the Irish round like that again, try and funnel them around that way. And keep firing their shot of them. I mean, it is doing a lot of damage to the units around. But hopefully, their artillery is about to go bye bye. I guess they've got cavalry protecting it. Soon shall not survive. Looks like they're forming up battle line ready to advance to our position anyway. So that's good. I they haven't managed to get a clean shot in the artillery. Here we go. Bye bye, enemy cannon. Beautiful. 
switch to canister. Wait for him to advance. No, we don't. Yeah, okay. Many lances. They've got some hussars coming in. Managed to march on the Irish here. In fact, I'm going to do so they're supported by the cannon. Let's draw them back. Need to keep an eye on this cavalry battle. Breaking. Yeah, there we go. So the lance is gone. Take a moment to enjoy the view of the, uh, the cavalry battle there. Yeah, they're breaking on that side. We'll soon swarm them. Oh, here we go. Look at the, the bloody fight going to occur now for the, uh, the house we've taken. Cannons. Fire. Just fire here on the ground. Artillery. Should be able to scrape them down. Yeah. Are you guys firing or you're bogged? Looks like you're firing, but I need to check properly. See here. Couple of you guys are engaged, so I'm guessing that's why they're not firing. Oh, he's really going for him. He's gone. Cavalry. Finish the hussars. Units taking some pretty significant damage. Oh, you guys are over here. I was like, hang on, we're down a unit. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. That's the cannon and the cavalry all dealt with. Reform it. Oh, so only their front rank fires. Yeah, because I think it's they should all fire. Maybe they'll all fire in skirmish mode. Let's see. Is that only that front rank still? No, it's only that front rank. Yeah, there'd be a bog. Oh, no, there's a few of them. They're reloading. It's just not all of them. There's no one in range of them to shoot anyway. Let's see what these guys bring them around to face this lot. Be a line of sight thing as well. We'll see. Let's get them up over here. Smidge more. Okay, 
Let us see what they do now. Front rank fires. But that's it. Yeah. That tracks with all the comments that I saw saying the rest of them don't fire. It's only the front rank. Which is a shame because they're incredibly accurate. So probably your best way of using them is spread them as wide as possible so you've got as many of the front rank. Well, as many troops on the front rank so then, yeah, you'll get a mass volley from them. I think that's happened with a few of the additional troops that various mods in that add in, actually, as skirmishes. Oh, no, that one. You're firing the second rank. So inconsistent. Okay, maybe I'll relegate you guys to defenders then of a... Or adding support and garrison. Because you're still, you're still good troops. Incredibly accurate. But yeah, it would be more ideal if you all fired. How's me Irish doing there? Okay. Break him down. They've gone. That one's gone. That should be it. I won't bother chasing them down too much. Maybe we'll swap out those two Portuguese Legion actually with the additional Irish Legion that we've got at Vienna. 829 lost. Nice. Pull back to the bridge, get the replenishment. Send you two back here. I know we don't have it. We don't have any more Irish Legion. Is that it? Is that what we could get? Just two. Yeah, damn. Okay. Um, I will take the Swiss then, I guess. Yeah, you know what? In that case, I could take the four. Uh, no, it would be just two, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Two, take those. Take those two out. And take the four Swiss line. Beam. Pop them in. Lovely stuff. Hold on, Devo. Right. We will end the turn. And open things next episode. Continue our invasion of Britain. And going from there and seeing what the Austrians do. They're going to hit that university again, aren't they? The British not doing anything with their ships. Yeah, von Bluck is back. Marching from Berlin west to Hanover. Well actually no, he probably he probably just withdrew actually. Yeah, he's not he's not he did, we didn't take him out, did we? We broke we broke his unit, but we I don't think I saw it come up saying enemy general down. Bavaria. Oh yeah, because they joined the war with me against Prussia, but then they broke off when Austria kicked off, so they're still about to go after the Prussians, but not strong enough. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. Spanish ship, very careful to move around the uh, zone of control of the British ships there to not trigger them. <laughs> there is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms yep. here. We will, will be upgrading shortly and we completed our tech. Recruitment reports. Yep. Nation destroyed. Oh, Hess Castle. Ah, that's what the Prussians moved in for. And that's why. Bavaria probably threw an army that way. Saxony's got their force there. Yeah, soon we could have this underbelly exposed as well. I mean, we've got Innsbruck to hold in the mountains. The Swiss. I'll try and get 
try and hold, but if they were to fall, we'd capture Switzerland and then we hold the bridges here, 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 here. Well, not here, actually. There. Hold that bridge. Uh, and then to get round Switzerland, they'd have to... Yeah, well, they, I mean, they could move through here, but as long as Switzerland is well guarded with a force at the bridge in there, then we should be okay. But it depends how much the AI throws at us. So we should be fine. We should be fine, unless they get very scary. Um, yeah, I want to try and capture those ships. So we need to spend some money on some 80-gun ship of the lines, I think. Get them going next to join up with these guys. Meanwhile, Napoleon will march on Edinburgh and probably be able to just demand surrender there because they don't have any troops there. Although we could have a, we could have a nice little naval battle against these guys, a small one, if we kick them out of there along the way. Um, that's what we could always do there. We just need to see these guys off, but I don't know if my fleet is strong enough to hit that and then separate a few off to go break those guys. We should be able to. If we have strong enough ships, we need to upgrade those, though. So... Yeah, we won't. We probably will take Edinburgh. We might even move on Wales, but then we will hold a little while until I can get my naval battle with them. Uh, in the meantime, as well, we want to take out Gibraltar, which I'd say let's maybe consider moving some Mecenas troops around, but we can't do that while Austria is here. So it will be the small force that we are throwing together at Marseille. So we'll need to build that up. But yes, we will open doing. All of this and more at the start of the next episode. What I will aim to do is have names in for Ney's army, I think, next episode. Um, we can probably link one up those extra troops. Um, so we'll pop them in and, yeah, have custom names in for all of his troops. Uh, I will try going forward just to do kind of, yeah, an army army name and episode for all of our forces that we've currently got deployed. So until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and all that goodness. Take care and ciao for now.